technique demonstrations. Physique assessment using air displacement plesmography or the bod pod. Associate Professor Gary Slater. Hi, I'm Rhiannon. I'm an elite figure athlete and I recently just competed in a number of competitions and had some first and second placings. Okay, so we're just going to finish off the remainder of the calibration of the system before we put you through and get that measure of your body composition. Uh, it takes us about half an hour to calibrate the system beforehand, but we always do that just to make sure the numbers are correct and we're not generating random numbers. What happens through this calibration process is very similar to what's going to happen to you during your testing. So we use this calibration cylinder. This is of a known volume, just to be able to confirm the system is reading like it should be reading. And we do this before every single test. So what's going on now will be exactly what, like what happens for you during your testing. Uh, the chamber door is going to close for about 30 seconds. And we're going to do this twice for you. As long as the, the measure between your first and your second are within 150 mils of each other for the estimation of your body volume, we're good to go. If it falls outside of that, we'll take a third measure. What we've got here is a front chamber of known volume. There's also a back reference chamber of known volume. Just behind where you sit is a little pressure valve that activates during testing, which causes a slight pressure differential between the front chamber and the back chamber. You potentially feel that through your ears. It's not dissimilar to what you experience when you're in an aeroplane, but it shouldn't cause you any discomfort at all. We just need to confirm that you're not wearing any metal or any jewellery um, that would influence our results. Yeah. No? Really difficult to be able to find women's clothing that doesn't have metal on, or so I've been told. Anyway. Just making sure the scale's reading correctly at the moment. If you can come and stand up in the scale for me. Just look straight ahead. And you can hop off. Alright, now the reason why we put the swim cap on is to basically compress any of the air that's within your hair. Uh, it's the same thing with your clothing, what you're wearing right now is perfect. Uh, we can't have any metal on your clothing and we want figure hugging clothing. So as we've recommended to you, we've done just what we've asked. Alright, let's get you to pop in. Any issues with claustrophobia at all? No. All right. So we'll get you to just sit back, you can put your back up against the wall and just relax. We're going to try and minimise any movement. Um, just breathing normally for it's not too deep, not too shallow. You can just sit back and relax. Now, if at any stage during the testing you feel uncomfortable, just next to your left knee, there's a little green light that's going to activate during the testing. You push that, everything gets deactivated straight away. Between the first and the second test, we'll open up the chamber door, make sure everything's okay as well. All good to go? So a little over 30 seconds, Rhiannon. Right about halfway through. Got about 10 seconds left. Is that okay? We're good to go again? Yeah. Alright. Nice and still for us. Just another 30 seconds. So about halfway through. Got about 10 seconds left. Good compliant subject, those measures are nice and tight. If you're done, mate, you can pop out. You can keep the swim cap on if you like, it will keep it as a memento. So what we've got out of that 
is a best practice or a reference method for being able to work out your body volume. Because we've got your volume and your weight, we can work at your density. Now the downer associated with it is to be able to get composition. We have to rely on equations in the 1950s and 60s to convert that density measure into composition. And when we do that, we make some assumptions. We make some assumptions in regards to the amount of bone that's in your body, but also the amount of water content. The bone estimate isn't too bad. The water one can be thrown off a little bit. And so if we wanted to make this even better, we'd also get a measure of your total body water content to give us a better quality estimate of your body composition. For further information on physique assessment, see our book, Best Practice Protocols for Physique Assessment in Sport, published by Springer.